good stretch for your hip flexor and rectus femoris along your thigh. You do need sort of a firm surface and you want to scoot off the edge where part of your booty hangs off. Now if you're close to the floor, if you want to go ahead and plug your toe in a bent position for the knee, you'll already feel the stretch. The hard thing about this is that you'll tend to really arch up, in which case it's not good for your back and you won't feel much of a stretch. So before you even plug your foot, you want to do a pelvic tilt to hold your back flat and then you can plug your toe and sit in the stretch and you should feel a good pull from your hip down to your knee. Now, if this is too difficult, you can use a strap around the ankle. So the difficulty of the strap is that you don't want your knee to drift way out here during the stretch. So you're still gonna hold your pelvic tilt, you're gonna pull from over your shoulder, and then you can allow that to sit there in the lengthened position without too much drift out to the side. And that's a good rectus femoris stretch.